Hello, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read another picture book, and the name of this book is A Frog Thing. Frank wanted to fly, but he was a frog, and frogs can't fly. There's Frank on his lily pad. Frank was different though, special, aerodynamic. And you can do whatever you set your mind to, Frankie. His parents had promised. But they gotta get it from somebody. Social distancing is really physical separation So Frank set his mind to flying. But it was more like falling than flying. And everyone laughed at him. So here's Frank trying to fly. Hmm. I wonder how that's going to work out. And there, the people are laughing at him. So not nice. Tired and discouraged, Frank buried his head in his big webbed feet. And that's how Frank's parents found him. Frank explained his problem. And there was a long silence as they thought about how to respond. So here's Frank, sad, and here his parents are thinking, hmm, what should we tell Frank? <clears throat> Frankie started, Frank's dad, finally, when we said you could do anything you sent your mind to, we meant any frog thing. So flying is a bird thing, just like staying underwater forever is a fish thing. Hmm. Yes, you should find a frog thing, said mom, but I want to fly. I'm sorry, kiddo, but frogs can't fly, explained dad. No, agreed mom. We swim and we hop, but we do not fly. They don't understand, he thought. We understand, they said, but patted and patted Frank's shoulder. Frank sat in his dark stall and said, but growing more determined, I'll show them, he thought, I'll learn to fly and I'll fly right over the pond. Hmm. He jumped and ran and leapt and dove. He flapped and flapped and flapped and finally just flapped on top of a leaf to rest. He soaked his sore feet and hung his head until... Here he is, he's trying and he's trying. He's trying so hard. Splash. Something crashed into the water and started to sink. Frank leapt into action. It's a baby bird, he thought. He swooped down, swept her up, and swam her back to the shore. Oh, look at that. Frank is able to dive deep, deep down, and save the baby bird. The nervous mother bird hugged her baby tight. Her baby coughed, then wheezed, then opened her eyes safe and warm in her mother's wings. The mother bird turned and kissed Frank right on his cheek. He was very surprised and a little embarrassed. Thank you, thank you, she chirped. 
What a great swimmer you are. How can I ever repay you? So here's the mother bird and you can imagine how happy the mother bird is to have her baby back in her wing. Oh, it was nothing, ma'am, said Frank, for he was very polite and a modest frog. Please, I want to do something for you, anything. Well, suggested Frank, I really, really want to fly. But frogs don't fly, said the mother bird. I know, admitted Frank. And you still want to fly? Frank shrugged. I've set my mind to it. So here is Frank. And she says, but you know frogs cannot fly. And welcome back to Night in the Fight Against Coronavirus, the help of Americans and the help of the economy. She looked in his eyes, then flew off in a flutter. Wait here, she cried. I will be right back. And she did come back with another bird and a twig between them. Grab on, she called. Oh, what a great idea. Frank's going to be able to fly with the help of the two birds. Before he knew it, they were high above the trees. The morning sun streamed through the sky, and the wind whistled over Frank's slick green skin. It was a little scary at first, but soon he relaxed as they glided and rose and swooped and dove. Here they go. Ooh. He's having the time of his life and he's truly doing something he set his mind to. Everyone hurried to see Frank fly. They watched from the bank as he and the birds passed overhead. This is no ordinary fraud thing, observed Frank's mom. So here they go. When their flight was finished, the mother bird pulled Frank close. You are a very special frog, she said, and with a whoosh of her wings, flew back to her nest. Breathless, Frank waved. Thank you, thank you so much. Frank topped home somewhat lighter than before. On his way, he met his folks. Frankie, we saw you up there, Mom beamed. Fantastic, croaked Dad. You can do anything you set your mind to. Anything, agreed Mom. Well, any frog thing, maybe Frank explained. The birds were the ones flying and I was just holding on. But I do think I could be one of the great swimmers. His parents smiled proudly as Fra Frank joined his friends in the pond. So you might say there's a lesson in this story to be learned. What have you, what could that be? Frank had wanted to fly, but he was a frog. And frogs can't fly, but they sure can swim. So here we have a frog thing, but I think we do know that if you put your mind to something and you think outside the box, as they say, you can find a way to do almost anything. So put your mind to it and make it a great day.